Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello, I'm Lydia. And if you are new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button, join the growing family, turn notifications on, and while you're down there, give me a thumbs up because it really does help me out. Now today, we're going to be talking about dissociative identity disorder. This video was requested. I had to do a bit of research first for this video because honestly, I do not know that much about dissociative identity disorder. So please take what I say as information somewhat information about dissociative identity disorder do not use this video to self-diagnose do not use this video instead of professional hell so let's begin Dissociative identity disorder was formerly known as multiple personality disorder and it is a mental health condition that causes a person to have multiple distinct identities which control their behaviour at different times. Some DID symptoms include identity uncertainty, feeling uncertain about who you are or your identity, memory gaps, having gaps in your memory about everyday events or personal information, switches, experiencing intense changes in your identity sometimes referred to as switches, amnesia, not remembering what happens when another part of your identity is in control, alters, having different parts of your identity also known as alters or parts, and lastly a trance-like behaviour. Signs of a switch to an altered state, signs of a switch such as trance-like behaviour, eye blinking, eye rolling, changes in posture. Trauma is almost always the cause of DID. Care therapy can help manage symptoms, treatment can help improve social, relational and occupational functioning. How to tell if someone is dissociated? Some people suddenly realise they can't remember some- they might wonder where- they might wonder while dissociating and forget how they arrived at a certain place. They might also forget especially distressing or shocking experiences. Some people with dissociation hear voices in their head or feel like they mean t they or feel like they're being overtaken by altered states of identity. Now this is important to remember, DID, Dissociative Identity Disorder, is not the only dissociative disorder. There's de depersonalization, derealization, dissociative feud, DID, OSDD, and a few others. I don't know all of them. I was previously diagnosed with depersonalization and derealization, but in one of my last psychiatrist appointments, he agreed with me that I didn't meet the criteria anymore for it and it was undiagnosed. What does DID switching look like? Some indicators that a switch may be about to happen include feeling spacey, depersonalised, derealised, blurred vision, feeling slowed down, feeling of alter ulcers talk to each other. Many systems repeat Many systems report being able to hear each of their altered states. Can people with DID live a normal life? Short answer, yes, they can. With effective treatment from mental health provider or specialist who is trained in trauma and dissociation, people with DID can and do recover. And yeah, that's just a little bit about DID. Thank you for the person who requested this and if you're, if you're new, subscribe. Also I have a Patreon which, uh, which I, I uh, can't talk. I also have a Patreon which I'm going to start uploading Patreon only videos to again. They're only going to be shown on Patreon, never going to be shown on this channel. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Peace.